Hello again members of the squad. How are you all doing? I'm hoping that you all are having a wonderful time, that you're doing great wherever you are. So thank you and a very very warm welcome to another episode of Brian Squadies. So guys, who are winning and doing so well in life contrary to what the media is trying to spread around? Obviously, it's Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan have been doing so well ever since they they left that royal fold and they'll continue doing well for a long time because they are hard working people they are committed to each other they are committed to what they are doing and those are the main elements of success but you know the media and the royal family don't want people to know that so i'm just going to list you some some of the new years top wins for Harry and Meghan and also what Harry and Meghan have achieved in the past year or let me say the fascinating things that Harry and Meghan did the past year so let's start with prince harry's pair prince harry's pair is number 2 on the list of 41 best selling memoirs of all time it was the uk's top selling book in 2023 with 710,000 print copies sold and it's the fastest selling book of all time and it ranks number 5 on all time lists of memoirs imagine that is all the success that prince harry's book spare is achieving but then you'll hear the uk media telling you otherwise telling you how Harry and Meghan are failing how no one wants to buy Prince Harry's book but clearly you can see how uh, Prince Harry's book spare is doing so well and i know and believe that all these news all these positive news about Harry and Meghan's wins make the derangers and the royal family together with the british media really crazy because these people took that time took a lot of that time trying to tell people how prince harry's book is not selling how prince harry's book is not performing well but when the numbers come out you can see for yourself that everything they have been saying is a complete lie i even remember uh, when they were lying to people how everything harry and meghan touch turns out to be a failure and then uh, when suits was back on netflix so many people were watching it that it made the uk media run articles asking the, themselves and the public why people were binge watching suits and the answer is simple everything harry and meghan engage in everything harry and meghan do turns out to be a huge success that is a proven theory and anyone can see it Also another thing is that clever blends in which Megan is a stakeholder has begun to stock products at the popular US based store Target. I just love hearing such things so congratulations to the founder Hannah Mendoza and the team at Clever Blends. This is such good news. You know, I keep saying this and I'll say this over and over again. Megan will continue going up both Prince Harry and Megan will continue going up and their haters will stay in the same position or even go lower that is when you know which side is good and which side is evil just by seeing who gets punished and who gets uplifted Also another thing is that Misan Hariman who is Harry and Megan's photographer Uh, he produced this short film called The After and The After has won the Hollywood Critics Association award for the best short film against some remarkable nominees so congratulations again to Misan Hariman for this huge huge win i don't know if you all watched The After it was such an incredible well a uh, well directed film and it got me thinking a lot i think after watching the after i just um was left in tears 
Miss Anne Harriman is such a good director and I pray that his career is going to continue soaring and it's going to reach even higher levels. You see, everyone who uh, associates themselves with Harry and Meghan is always going to be followed by success too because Harry and Meghan attract success and they usually say that show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. So if you associate yourself with people who have so much success, people who are visionaries, then you will also be the same. Also, another thing is that uh, at the end of 2023, remember how Prince Harry won the case against the Mira Group Network. I think that was the most perfect way to end the year 2023. And I believe that this year 2024 is also going to be so good to Harry and Meghan. Well, I pray that it's going to be so good to Harry and Meghan that they're going to have so much money. They're going to collect so much money because of their hard work this year that they won't even um, be able to count. And going back to 2023, the, there are some moments which stood out and I want to highlight them for you if you don't mind. So first of all, let me start with the iconic moment that Meghan declined to attend King Charles' coronation to instead stay in the US to celebrate her son Archie's fourth birthday. You know, when Meghan made that choice, I was like, there's nothing that speaks self-respect, um, putting yourself first, putting your kids first, and not, tolerate, and not tolerating any kind of disrespect from people other than what Meghan did. According to me, that was the most hearts down moment uh, according to what Meghan did. And then another thing is when Prince Harry was seen at the airport with a hanger on his hand 20 minutes after his father's coronation to go back to his family in the US because he didn't even have time to change his clothes. That man was in such a hurry to attend his son's fourth birthday that he did not even have time to change. And then another iconic moment is when Harry and Meghan were showing PDA at the Renaissance World Tour. And I absolutely loved that moment. Also, when Prince Harry was dancing and stealing the show, that was absolutely fantastic. His dance moves just got me cracking up. You know, this was Harry and Meghan living their lives without minding what people say, without minding uh, who was around them, who was taking videos of them. They were just having a fun time. And I hope to see more of this in 2024. Uh, I hope to see Harry and Meghan also having a wonderful time, being happy and enjoying life. They deserve it, right? They deserve all the good things in life. Also, another um, amazing, amazing moment is when Prince Harry had gone to watch Messi play in LA and he looked really, really happy. He was just having a wonderful time there. And another moment is Meghan returning to the red carpets. You know, I just loved that moment. I loved Megan's outfit. She looked dazzling. She looked amazing. And I really hope to see even more of this in 2024. And of course, how can I forget the Invictus Games? How amazing it was. How of a success it was. How Prince Harry and Meghan um, were very, very supportive of these veterans and how, um, in general, the whole thing was just a very huge success. Remember also how Nigerians were embracing Meghan and how Prince Harry was very, very protective of his wife. I think that is the moment that uh, I remember a lot. And also, generally, the games were really, really amazing. 
So many veterans had good things to say about the Invictus Games. Most of them had good testimonies to say about the Invictus Games. And I don't think anyone can underestimate the importance of the Invictus Games. Also, not forgetting uh, The Heart of Invictus, the film that was produced on Netflix featuring um, the Invictus veterans. All that was incredible work done by uh, Prince Harry. So congratulations again on everything that they did for all these veterans and the good work that they continue uh, to do for them, the kind of support that they have given to these people. May God bless them abundantly. Also, we had Harry and Meghan appearing several times last year and I'm sure that it got the, the derangers very mad. It got them really crazy because just seeing Harry and Meghan living their lives and uh, just being happy triggers these people a lot. And I hope that they continue being triggered this year because I'm hoping for more Harry and Meghan pictures. I'm still hoping to see Harry and Meghan enjoying their lives and being totally happy. I'm sure that I haven't even mentioned a tenth of the things that happened last year. I'm sure that there's so many things that I have probably left out, but you all still remember. So I'm hoping that this year 2024 is also going to give us lots of memories. So kindly, if I've left, if I've left out anything that you found fascinating during the year 2023, uh, specifically concerning Harry and Meghan, kindly let me know in the comments section and then I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing time. Goodbye.